Hi, this is Jeff at the Sky and Museum and Gardens. I'm coming to you from a view that uh, very few people who even work at the Sky have seen. And this is the roof of our casino, which is located on the garden mound. It's also the site of our latest 3D documentation project. Uh, essentially, 3D documentation is a process that allows for preservation of our built heritage and uh, with this project for the first time, preservation of our uh, living collections as well. I'm standing in front of the casino right now and the device that you see behind me is a laser scanner. Essentially what's happening is the mirror that you see that's flipping around is throwing out laser beams about 100,000 a second, uh, capturing details of the surface of the casino down to the millimeter. So, uh, it is it's very accurate in terms of what it maps on the surface, gives a good sense of the form in 3D. Uh, every time a laser beam hits the surface of something, it, uh, it records it in XYZ coordinates. So highly detailed, uh, very useful to us in our conservation efforts, and also useful in uh, generating 3D models of the spaces at the sky. Now, for the first time, we're applying laser scans to the living collections, as I mentioned, and specifically these oaks that are behind me. Now, the oaks on Vizcaya's garden mound are, um, they were fully grown when they were placed here, so brought up here perhaps 100 years old. Pretty old, and um, you know, there's lots of considerations as they age and uh, caring for them. We're hoping that the laser scans will teach us what we need to know in the same way that we record and conserve our built heritage we'll be able to apply those same practices to our living collections. While laser scanning gets a lot of the glory in terms of 3D documentation technologies, uh, photogrammetry is a more accessible uh, technology, something that anybody can do. Photogrammetry is taking lots and lots of photos of a 3D object and, uh, in the round and then stitching them together with software. And it's also an important way that we document uh, features of the sky that have surface textures we need to get visual detail on. We've used two methods of doing photogrammetry on this project. One is just with a handheld SLR camera, and another is with a drone. So there are lots of elevations here at Vizcaya. Um, we can't reach all of them. There's not any ladders tall enough here to do that. So we're using drones to actually capture the elements of, that we can't get to ourselves. Among the important features that we're trying to capture as part of our 3D documentation of the garden mound are the grottos, and there are three of them. They're important for a couple of reasons. The garden mound is actually a man-made structure. It is mounded up dirt, a hill. Additionally, we have to consider that essentially these are hollowed out spots. So lots of dirt piled up on top of these. The casino is directly above this one. We've got several uh, huge oak trees that are on top of the mound too. So the structural health of the grottos is very important to the overall conservation of the garden mound. Informing our conservation practice of these uh, very complex parts of the garden mound is uh, a chief concern. As a side benefit of the 3D documentation that we've done in the past, thanks to uh, the funding of the Knight Foundation, we were able to find ways to actually create visitor experiences based on the preservation point clouds, which are the 3D models that come out of this process. And so, at some point, you could be experiencing this view too. In the meantime, you can check out 3D models for other remote spaces at Vizcaya, like the barge and the swimming pool grotto, at virtualviscaya.org.